Hello, hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing and all that good stuff, you guys. We're going to get right into this, okay? You know your story. Leave it where it be if it's not for you, all right? You guys, thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscribes, and all that you do, okay? We're going to get right into it. You can achieve great things. I'm gonna start page four. I think it's a little long. Start with this. Okay, what's the message for the collective? What's the message for the collective? Excuse me. What's the message for the collective? Strange companions in strange places. Challenge. Challenge yourself. Use your imagination. Now you are independent and free. I'm getting like a free mind. Like you're free of limited beliefs or something like that. Something about you eating mushrooms and fruits. A lot of mushrooms and fruit. A lot of fruits. Vegetables. It could help with your mind. Mm-hmm. This um yeah, I don't this is like a spider or something sitting on top of her head. I don't know what's what this is. Spider sitting on top of her head. Or oh, it's a bat. I don't know what that is. Something sitting on top of her head. This is like a spider to me. I'm getting like something about like your ancestors with these deer. Your ancestors are trying to give you some type of, like, knowledge. Or an elder is trying to give you some type of knowledge or something. Yep, yeah, those mushrooms, something about powering up. You gonna, It's going to make you power up. So pay attention, like, to what you're eating, what you're thinking, uh, even like if you smoke or drink alcohol or something like um smoke marijuana, Mary Jane. Yeah, um it's something about it, it could affect your guilt. Like like eating a lot of processed food and or meats and stuff, that could affect your guilt too as well. Something about an elder is trying to teach you how to uh protect yourself, like to ward off evil or something. Even like, um, yeah, excuse me. That was a, a little burp. It's a little spiritual burp, I guess. Yeah, also, something could be going on. Yeah, something's being released. But something could be, okay, with your throat chakra. Something could be going on with your throat chakra. Something is balancing out with your throat chakra. Yeah, something about you being able to express yourself freely and, like, effortlessly even like receiving like some type of communication about your life purpose or what you're supposed to be doing in life or something like that um it could be a blockage something is blocking something or something was blocked i mean like yeah it was it's being released yeah something about you could be trying to free yourself from repeating karmic cycles. Yeah, complete commitment. You can be completely committed to it. Or somebody's almost completely committed to it. It came out a little sideways. But you need to completely commit to this in order to get this job or something. This offer, this, um, I'm getting like, you've been going through some type of initiation. And this is part of your initiation. Yeah, um... Yeah, I'm getting finding Nemo. Somebody you finding answers with this on, just like in your dreams. Somebody you finding answers in your dreams. Yeah, you are unlike anyone else. Your contradictions and your complicities are interesting. Yeah, you could be the priest of time. If the time has come, the time to act is now. Yeah, you don't have you 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 got to stand. You got to be different, babe. Mm-hmm. This could be everybody else eating all that, whatever. You you can't. You can't do that. 
And spirit is also acknowledging your complete commitment. And you're unlike anyone that they have even like encountered because like it's been like oh like somebody just some people just be like overwhelmed with the situation or whatever it is and you know they just feel like it's too much and shit they want they they cake and eat it too literally you know what I'm saying and hey in order to claim this high priestess energy. I mean, you went. You already went through some type of transformation. Your body or your face and your hair, or something could even be looking different. Mm hmm. I mean, that song. Um, you look good without no makeup, no lashes. Even better when you wake up. Yeah. So for somebody, you thought you was looking good. Uh. You know, doing all that bull crap in the past, whatever it is, you thought it was good for you, but like you being, you know, no lashes, no makeup, you being vulnerable, that's even better. Or you being natural, that's even better. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. Come through spirit. He wise counsel. And listen, you hear me? He wise counsel and listen. Versus in a crowd. That crown. Tell you something about your crown. And magical protect is there for you. I'm saying this. Oh. Um, I don't know. It's like a big ass. Toad, it's, it's a frog, it's like a big ass toad. What I'm saying, it's like ancient. It's it got like a lot of flies just around it. I don't know, but it's like, um, it could be one of your, your guardians or something. It's like a big ass toad, like a big, it's a frog, but it's so fucking big. It's literally, it's big, whatever it is. A royal guardian, a magical protector is there for you. Little brother, little sister, sibling, younger friend, responsibility. Re reconsider your alliance and make new connections. The endless, sadless look of looking back. Okay, for well somebody, you could even have like a little brother, little sister. Or somebody younger than you or a friend. I'm getting like. Yeah, those people. You need to leave them where they are. You hear me? Most definitely. And make new connections. Yeah, because if not, you're going to be, like I said, you're trying to release and heal your past, right? You're trying to stop these karmic cycles from keep repeating themselves. So these people that's been causing you all this negative nostalgia or doubting you, bullying you, gaslighting you, doing all that old stuff behind your back, being fake and phony, you need to leave them behind. You know, you, you know us as healers or lead, somebody's a leader. Somebody most definitely is a leader. And you're independent and you need to step in your independent leadership role. Um, you you always want to heal somebody or take somebody with you or oh I could fix them. You're not Mrs. Fix it or Mr. Fix it. You hear me? That's not your job. That's not your job to fix everybody. No, you're supposed to go be going within and fixing yourself and then be an example for others to show you know how to cope with problems or situations or you know just to be that guide and light whatever it is for them. But hey, yeah, it's time to say goodbye. You hear me? You can't you can't help everybody. But you got some new people that's coming in. There's some new people that's coming in. Yep, yeah, look, the gift of sacred sight. Okay. You got the gift of sacred sight. You you seeing things clearly. These people, these energies, your old actions, whatever. That will, it's, it could be blocking your gift from going to the next level. 
Yeah. Come through, spirit. What I say? You got the gift of sacred sight. Look, you see it clearly. This elder then gifted you with this. You this is like a inheritance or something. Then I say it was like a, no, I said a, a toad. This is a big frog. I mean, um, a turtle. Yeah, you will not let fear stop you this time. It's okay to be, you know, it's okay to step out on your own. It's okay. Let me tell you something. I don't relate to nobody in my family. In my, you know, not my immediate family, but my family, like my mom, my dad, my sisters, because I don't relate to none of them. You hear me? It's okay. You can do it. Keep going. You hear me? Most definitely you can do it. I, all it takes is a little bit of faith and hope and a little bit of prayer and a little bit of meditation and a little bit of just determination. You hear me? And keep pushing. That's what you're supposed to do. Most definitely. Let me see. What was that? Let me get some tea first. Tea. And y'all, I got my rabbit. My rabbit cup. Somebody done went down the rabbit hole. Are you going down the rabbit hole? You went down the rabbit hole? Somebody tried to sacrifice a rabbit, too. Let me see. Yeah, they tried to sacrifice the rabbit. You could be that rabbit. You hear me? But guess what? Somebody try to go down the rabbit hole and sneak and do something half fast. You can't do nothing half fast. You're being watched. You hear me? You can't do nothing half fast. You got to go and do that shit the right way, most definitely. You ever to try to do some bull crap? Look, nonsense. It's time. What did it say? It's time to tell, to talk sense. Queen of Hearts. Nonsense. I wrote, I wrote down Queen of Hearts one day. Did I say the Queen? I said Queen of Hearts. Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. Yeah, somebody didn't want you to speak or say something. Could have been doing some throw shopping work here. I don't know. It could have been a, a oh, witch bitch. Mad bitch. I don't know, honey. Look, it's always tea time. Bitch, I just drank my tea. Damn. It's always tea time. Endless moments. Repetition. Mm-mm. Nonsense. You keep repeating nonsense. Trying to drink tea and sip tea with people that you don't even, you don't even, y'all not even on the same level. Well, she looking real uncontent here. Real Uncle T, yeah. Forget who you are. They make you forget who you are. Yeah, but guess what? That conditioning is falling away. That conditioning is falling away. And you ain't this little timid little, little person they control no more. So now they looking at you like you looking like this because you so damn different. You hear me? <laughs> they like, what? Yeah, and you got that that um that little baby deer there. That is an ancestor. And yeah, impossible things. You most definitely. You forgot who you were. I was trying to sip tea and shit. Yeah, and they talking nonsense and shit. Yeah, you like man. I don't want to keep hearing that bullshit. I but it got to be more to life than. Sitting around just clocking tea or sipping tea or talking about people gossiping and shit. Yeah, somebody, you could be like, you could could have went, like, you eat out a lot or you either like at a, somebody about, like at a family gathering or something. It could be like an altercation or argument or, or they discussing you or something. Yeah, discussing you doing these impossible things. Working through disbeliefs. You're not conditioned. That conditioning is falling away. Yeah. Look, yep, and you're learning. 
the correct I mean and you're learning to create what you desire. Yep. Cause you could have had somebody back here in your ear talking all this nonsense talking about you ain't gonna be shit, you ain't gonna do this, you ain't gonna do that. Yo, elders, they they are separating you from these people or this person or this energy or whatever this is. This could even be you, your higher self, you know, being very negative to yourself. But whatever this is, that that's nonsense. Yeah, and people like discrediting crediting you, trying to condition you, control you. You you went through a sense of like memory loss because you couldn't remember who you are. You couldn't remember your purpose. You know, you you, you might have knew you were different than the rest, but you just like, why am I so different? I don't, you know, you don't fit in. Yeah, now you're ready to adventure. Mm hmm So set the course. Now where you wish to go. Have a plan and go in the right direction. Yeah, you have a plan. You're going in the right direction. Okay. Yeah, the right way, the right direction. Right. Okay. Go to the right. And use your time well. Make every moment count. I'm getting like whatever you do, have fun. You hear me? Whatever you do, have fun. Messages for the rabbit. You hear me? Okay. Messages for a rabbit. Because you're a service to the animal kingdom. The animal world. Wow. We got nature communication. Flower energies. Fiery energies. And elemental messengers. So, I'm getting like... Yeah, it's a letter right here. Um, nature communication. You could be, yeah, I'm seeing this big ass toad. I'm seeing a, a, a crow, a snake, a deer, a llama. A llama and a, a, a hawk. Something about some um, white roses. And um, the palm, some palm uh, flowers. They like different colors, like diff like fall colors, palm flowers. For somebody, you are like a, a, a root worker. Yeah, you, you need to spend time in nature. You need to use your time in nature. You're going to get some downloads in nature that's going to set you on this course down the right way or that's what you need to be doing. <laughs> Somebody's wondering what will happen next and they're ready for adventure. Somebody also could be like very creative, like at writing or like writing books or creative expression, uh, free writing, something like that. Somebody need to get into herbs. It's like you, you need to do it like right now. That's what this elder is saying. Some herbs or something. Somebody's a healer, a root worker, a shaman. Chocolate shaman. Is there a chocolate shaman? Chocolate shaman. Is it brown? Chocolate shaman? Yeah, cause somebody you like in the house or you, you contemplating or something. It's time for you to go through this door and go on outside. It's like it's something waiting on you outside. As soon as you go through this door, this threshold, whatever that is, something's waiting on you on the other side right there. Are you ready? 
Are you ready? Princess and the Frog. Are you ready? This frog, are you ready to go the right way? Root. I'm seeing this is a crown. Somebody could be crowned. Somebody got a, got the message that somebody got crowned. Somebody could have been going through an initiation process or something like that. Also, something about the root of the problem. Somebody needs to fix the root of the problem. Quit trying to like band aid, you know, bandage it up or uh, just trying to heal something like for the moment. But find the root of the problem and solve that issue so you can go through that threshold. Just say, for instance, you know you got um, like pain in your hand. Instead of you going to see what's wrong with your hand, just take a, a pill for the, you know, for the pain. And they also want you to quit taking like so much medicine or something. Something about to take a lot of pills or something. Something about um. I'm just trying to get you to get into them herbs more. Let's see, what is that on that plate? I don't know what that is on that plate, but I'm seeing somebody trying to make somebody eat something, but it's black. It's not whatever they saying it is. It, it could be in your dream state. It's, it's black. Y'all don't be eating in your dreams. Supposed to bring poverty, I guess. And the distant horizon. That's giving me like dream state. Somebody's trying to change something. Trying to change your journey. And they want you to be in poverty. Yeah, somebody was <laughs> wow, somebody was expecting wealth and your gift. Damn, and your pathway and to be a privileged lady. They were blocked from this great fortune. Damn, somebody thought they would get some type of sudden wealth they in despair. A mature woman and a mature man. Because you are officially where you belong at. And they try to steal your inheritance. Wow. While you asleep in the dream state. Is there a whole community of people. <laughs> Damn. They under judgment. Yeah. The main man. The main male. He gonna lose his court case. Look how the judge, the judge said who? Get your ass up under the jail. Get your ass up under the jail. You and your damn wife. Yeah, all that stealing is over. I mean, like that could even be God. You hear me? Get your ass. Oh, that's Anubis. Anubis said get your ass under the under the underwear. I don't know, honey. Somebody's going under, under, down the hole. Somebody try to get you to go like on a path. I'm feeling like what is like a field of crops, like corn or wheat or something. Corn or wheat could be significant too. For somebody, corn. Corn is not good for you right now. For somebody, you don't need to be eating corn. It could be wheat as well. But, um, that tries to get you to go like in that, that field or something and you will fall down or something. It's like you try to step. You're like, what a ground at? I don't, you don't feel the ground. And when you step, you start falling or something. Could be in your dream state and you woke up. Yeah, they was trying to take something from you or something. Or lead you down the rabbit hole again. Yeah, but they want you to repeat another damn cycle of that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, but no. God said no. No, mm -mm. I heard not my anointed. Nope. Okay. Yeah, for somebody, you might need to leave religion behind or something too. Let me get one see. Somebody was lying about their age, lying about you. That's what I'm getting. Somebody lying about you. Um, looking at your birth chart. Your brother is secret still your brother is secretly stealing from you. Trying to cause a setback. Told you they trying to steal from you. Trying to cause setbacks in your life and shit. Yeah, you losing respect for all these people. Yeah, they mad because you done left their ass behind. Don't have to be a brother. Could be a sister, a friend, whatever. 
Mm-hmm. <coughs> yep. You guys, what is that? They try to come out. Look, they try to come out. They in this cult that's doing all this dark ass magic. And they ain't found the judgment. It could be your brother, your brother in law. Somebody just just a brother. It could just be a black man. Alright. They got resonate. Yeah, but wait a minute. Let me say this real quick. Okay, yesterday. I was at the park with my grandbabies. With my grandbaby. And um this man, he probably ten years younger than me. Come over, wanna to talk to me, whoop the woo, what's your name, your number, whoop the woo. I'm like, I'm just looking at him because it's like it's funny of other young girls there. And he come over to me, which I'm like, okay, you know, I'm a people person, I'm talking anyway, but um and then like the other the young girls, they even like came around where I was trying to sit at the little table area, picnic table area where I was at. Like to try to get his attention is what I was seeing. But he, he was not paying attention to them. And I'm just like, why well, was that? It, it was almost just like appalling to me that he was so focused on me and not them. We, but somebody may see something in you that they don't see in somebody else or it's something different or unique or somebody just might be on some bullshit. Okay, let me see right quick. What, what he on, spirit? What he on? We gonna end it. So you might have somebody coming towards you because they could be younger than you. Um, trying to make some type of offer, but it's like somebody want to steal the offer, and it's also like somebody's trying to distract somebody from the offer or the goal or whatever. But keep your eyes on the prize. You hear me? Keep your eyes on the prize. Let go of them distractions. Look, <laughs> ain't shit. Damn, he ain't shit. Fake flexing, acting rich, showing off, hustling, making. Making it rain. Just focused on money. It was your energy, you hear me? Broke ass. Cop blocking. Spain. Is that a how? I told you something about a how. Like, look, somebody's looking at something from a different perspective. So it's like all this fake flexing people like um, trying to get money or, you know, people acting out fancy and rich, trying to get money. Ain't they ain't shit. It's like he don't want that no more or you don't want that no more. All that brokenness or just people that's broke, that's drawn to you, your energy. Yeah, all that shit is being blocked. Because... These people, they, they being fake. For somebody, this is this person that was coming towards you that was acting fake. They just seen your shine, your glow. You hear me? This person really ain't shit. They broke. And you to block them. <laughs> okay? Something like that, okay? But for somebody, you, you're just tired of all the brokenness and the people that ain't shit and just hustling you for money and, you know, acting... Like they got it and they don't. You hear me? But give me one more. Let's see. <laughs> wow. Rejected. The boss daddy energy. I told you, look, the offer came in. It was rejected. So it was just like a lot of offers around. And this person rejected them. Because they want more stability. They want somebody to stable. Somebody's out in the head. This could be you collective. You could be all in your head thinking this person is just like talking shit. Because you're just like, what? This person could be looking for you. Yeah, and that could be a happiness hater talking shit. Give me one more. Give me one on this boss daddy energy. Boss daddy. Boss daddy energy. Threatened, intimidated. Bought. Getting evidence. 
This is crazy. Do y'all think it's weird when you first meet somebody and they ask you for pictures of you? Whoops and she clothing. Look, it's, it's a camera right here and it's a uh, okay, it's a phone right here. Like somebody look at you up. Then it's a camera right here. Then it's a wolf and she clothing. Can't fully trust them. Can't fully trust them. They want to get some unexpected money. They trying to get rich. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm like, all these little young girls out here. But you come to me. I'm like, what? You need a mama, don't you? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And I was like, what? And then it was like, uh uh. It was just like, it, it just wasn't my type. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm, I'm friendly. I was talking to him or whatever. And, and girl, they were looking like, which he, he was handsome as shit. Don't get me wrong. He, he looked like he was the boss daddy. But yeah, you, you was on face with that shit. You hear me? He did. He most definitely did. Because like I said, them he had them whole splock. Excuse my language, but he did. They came to him. And I wasn't paying his ass no attention. Because like I said, he about 10 years younger than me. And he come right over to me. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I mean, you know. And it is what it is. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to end it right there, you guys. I'm going to lay the life.